Well, Nina, first, I just want to thank you for letting us interview you, especially before you're due to perform tonight at the Tricycle Theatre. Uh, I really want to start off with a question that I ask a lot of stand-up comics, and I'm fascinated by the way that stand-ups can get an idea and then go on stage and then turn that into something funny. Now, I can only imagine that as a ventriloquist, that must be 10 times harder because it's not your own voice and you've got a whole different character to, to deal with. So talk me through how you do it. What's what's the process? Yeah. Well, I I remove myself, really. I mean, I'm all full of doubt anyway, so I just don't think about it from my perspective. And most things seem funnier when thought of through the perspective of monkey, I suppose. That's how I go about it. But it's not always monkey. I suppose now I'm more interested in uh, working with audience members and just noticing little things and sort of... Um, trying to be in the moment and find what's funny in the moment rather than premeditate what's funny. So is is there more improv rather than scripted stuff? Now there's a lot more improv. I can't believe there's me saying this because I was terrified of improv and I think I said told the same jokes for about 10 years. <laughs> Finally, I'm free. <laughs> it's a relief. And where do you start creating a character? Like, How do you even choose what animal you, you want? Do you just go into a puppet shop and say, right, that's the puppet? Here's There's the no method, uh, actually. I don't have a single method that I know works for finding a puppet and finding a character. Each one comes a different way and it's always slightly by accident. Mm -hmm. For example, this puppet was given to me. The, the boy in my film, who I give the puppet to in, in my film, uh, he won this in a raffle and gave it to me as a sort of return thanks. And I love this dog. It's now a really funny character. Um, but then... Yeah, the granny is yeah inherited from Ken Campbell. They all come from different people. I had a Nina puppet made of me. Uh -huh. yeah. And does each um, character represent a different part of your persona? Yeah, or they represent themes that are in my head and um, or composite characters of people I know in my life. Family plays a big part, actually. But then that guy, he's the builder. He's the sexy builder. That the sexy builder. He, he did my loft. <laughs> he literally did your loft. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so uh -huh. these puppets are all do set pieces, but they go differently every night. Okay, can you, can you introduce us to one or two? I need you. Yeah. Okay. You're not supposed to, as a ventriloquist, let your puppets be viewed inanimate. But you're not that fussy, are you, dear? No, not that fussy. Hello. Hello, Who's darling. Who's this young squeak? <laughs> Is it? I can't remember his name. <laughs> it's Kevin. Kevin, nice to meet you, dear. Nice to meet you too. How are you doing? Very well, dear. How are you? I'm, I'm pretty good. Do you enjoy working with Nina? No, dear, no. No, why not? Why don't you like that? Ugh, it's all... I don't know. Endless, dear. Pointless self-serving. <laughs> oh, really? Do you not? Do you get paid? Certainly not, dear. No, I don't get out anyway. Oh. Worried about these? Yes, <laughs> Your boobs all right? <laughs> no, they're not good. They're socks, you see. They wander freely. There's one peeping out there. Oh. Uh, they need <laughs> re-stuffing, dear. Do you want me to fix you? I can... There we go. Is that right? <laughs> Is that right, that moment? I don't know. I like that moment, that's quite nice. Um, and, and what you got coming up in the pipeline? What are you doing next, Gran? I'm not in the next show. No, you're not, you're not in the next show? No, I'm going to retire. Oh. Not forever. No, you're just not, you're not in it, the next one. That's a shame, you see. I, I think it could only improve. Well, we'll see. She's unravelling. She's unravelling. <laughs> she's unravelling. <laughs> Distressing company, well, I grant you, she's stressed out all the time. Yeah, one thing I'm doing is I'm training as a giggle doctor in children's hospitals. Oh, wow. Which is really exciting. Leeds, dear, plug it, dear. I've got, yeah. We're filming a DVD in Leeds, this current show. She's nailed it, it's a good one. But oh, okay. uh, So that's what I'm doing, but I've got uh, another documentary, a sitcom, and, um, yeah, another live show. A lot of stuff. When's the uh, DVD coming out? And the DVD, when's that? Fifteenth uh, of April oh, in, okay. in Leeds, we we film it. Yeah, that's when we film it. That's not when it's coming out. Ugh, I don't know about those things. Well, Nina, thank you so much for joining me on this interview, and uh, best of luck with you talk. Thank you very really much. Thank you. Lovely for to this. meet you, Kevin. You too, my love. I'm yeah. sorry she forgot your name. That's all right. It good happens. shoes, dear. Good shoes. Thank you very much. <laughs>